Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Super Mario video. And this time it comes courtesy of my friends over at Jank Specific. Very excited. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new the Super Mario Brothers movie toys featuring the 1.25 inch scale figures and play sets. There's a lot of them, like all of the various question mark block figures. Lots to choose from, lots of the main characters, which is important, like Princess Toadstool or Peach, as you could otherwise call her. Then you have Toad looking all snazzy right there, along with the Koopa Paratroopa. He looks great. And Magic Koopa or Kamek, right? Love that guy from the trailer. And Mario, very cool. You gotta have Mario. And of course, his brother. Luigi. So you got all the main characters, and as you can see on the back side, each one comes with a question mark box that unfolds to a little mini diorama. Here's the barcodes for when you want to search for them in store, and yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. We'll look at them each individually. Next up is the Mushroom Kingdom Castle, because you need a giant playset for all these 1.25 inch figures featuring the training grounds, kind of sort of what we've seen in the trailer thus far and you get two little mini figures with this play set but that looks pretty cool it's a giant mushroom kingdom castle and hopefully there's a lot to do a lot of displayability options you do get the same mario and princess peach with this set so you don't have to buy them individually but i love the packaging on this very simplistic very eye-catching and on the back you get to see how it unfurls and Goes and does all the great things from the Mario world. You got interactive pieces, things move, things chomp. And here's the barcode for this when you want to search for it in stores as well. So another very cool set that we'll be checking out in this video. But the one main thing, the thing that I was like, what? What do we got here? This is amazing. This is the Super Mario Brothers Plumbing Van Playset. And from the recent promo tie-ins of calling the Super Mario Brothers Plumbing Right? I absolutely love it. I love the van. The van is just awesome. It has this old school look, very Japanese, very European. It does come with a Mario minifigure. It's the same as the single and the castle play set. Again, very cool artwork all over the box, photos of what you're getting inside. And on the back side, it shows you what it unfurls into along with all the minifigures. The question mark box and the castle play set. Here's the barcode for this when you want to go ahead and find it in stores. And again, all of this should be out, fingers crossed, February 26th. So yeah, you can go ahead and pick this up, hopefully today. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new, the Super Mario Brothers movie 1.25 inch figures and play sets by Jack Specific. Let's -a go. What up, what up, what up? And of course, here's everything taken out of the packaging. That took a while, but we got it. We got there. You get six minifigures, all with their own respective question mark boxes, which when you have them all lined up like that, that makes for a diorama in and of itself. First up is Princess Peach. For as tiny as these little characters are, there's certainly a lot of paint on these, except on the other side right there. She has little mini sculpted shoes. She's got very minimal articulation on this minimal figure. Just the head moves. Her arms are sculpted, but they're painted. But she does look good for as tiny as this is. There's really little to no slop on these figures. And of course, she comes with this big question mark block. And it's very cool. You got the white question mark on either side. Nothing on the bottom except for the usuals, right? And it simply just opens up just like that. Top, bottom, sides. And you basically just get a flat platform with a picture of the Mushroom Kingdom. Each one basically comes with the same thing. It's just a different angle of said mushrooms. And you can put the princess or the characters right in the middle of the green square. Nice displayability option if you wanted to go that route. And it simply just fits all back together. So it's kind of like a puzzle box. Kind of, sort of. I see what they're going for it's a place to put the figure or figures as well or for a nice display option you can have a bunch of these and it's just like the mario game which i totally appreciate but with mario you're gonna get the same thing little mini mario lots of paint all the buttons are painted on this guy even on the sides of his legs they went to town that's pretty cool for again as tiny as these are they really nailed it. So I definitely appreciate that. You also get Kamek 
Again, the paint is great on this guy. His arms will move and his head will move. Otherwise, it's kind of like a Princess Peach situation. Not much going on as far as the legs. But uh, yeah, looks great along with the paratroopa. Now, he looks the best, I think. He's got the most going on and he has the most articulation. He's got the giant spear. He's got the arms. Nothing moves in the legs, which is kind of a good thing of this figure. He's got the head and he's got articulated wings. However, he gets a little back heavy, of course, because the wings are ginormous. So when you want to go ahead and stand him up, make sure you kind of angle the spear and whatnot. It may take a couple tries, we'll just say, so he just fell over. But otherwise, yeah, there you go. You got him to go along with Toad, which again, minimal articulation on this guy. But I mean, look at the back right here. Everything's painted, the frying pan, the rope. It's basically Treasure Tracker Toad right there. That's pretty cool. He's got minimal, like minimal articulation, let's just say. Only in the head. Nothing at the arms, nothing at the legs. But he makes up for it in all that paint, which looks good. It's just a miniaturized version of these larger 6-inch figures that Jax's are doing. And then you have Luigi. You gotta have Mario. You gotta have to have a Luigi. He's got the same articulation as Mario. He's got the head and the arms. Nothing else moves. But again, everything's painted. Everything looks pretty good. And as you can see, when you open everything up, and you get it all displayed out. You got all the characters on their respective green squares. You can see the pictures in the back. It's just a sticker. It's all different angles of the various mushrooms from the Mushroom Kingdom, which, hey, that totally works. You're in it for the blocks. You're in it for the minifigures. But it kind of looks like the video games when you kind of have to run around and only hit specific squares to unlock the next section. So everything is kind of tied in. Whether or not they meant to do that... That's totally what it reminded me of when I displayed all of these out. So that's very cool. I got to give it to him. But we got a castle playset to check out to house all these little mini figures. So this is quite impressive. It's just as a display piece alone. I'll give it to him all day. It's nicely painted. It's nicely stickered. And they went ahead and did the stickers for me. It's a solid miniature playset. And the sticker in the middle, of course, the iconic Princess Peach saying glass. You got all these little mini sticker windows right here. They're all applied nicely. You got some doors. You got some nice sculpted work in and of the brickwork that makes up the castle. So that's pretty cool. The doors will open. You can get one minifigure standing in there. You could probably guess which one. Up top are all these little flags. This is something that comes separate you simply just install them yourself. They're very easy, but they're very flexible rubber, so nothing's going to break off if you drop it. But I love the paintwork on this thing. For as minimal as it is, it definitely works, and I love this high-res sticker on the back of the background of the Mushroom Kingdom. It's awesome. They did a great job there, and it really is eye-catching and makes this playset pop. Now, it simply just opens just like this. This back part opens, this side opens, and it just closes up all natural as well. So that is cool to see. Now, like I said, it comes with the same exact Mario and Princess Peach figures as we just looked at with the single question mark box releases. So you can either just get the playset or you can buy the singles, whatever you want to do. It does come with these really cool mechanized piranha plants, which I'm going to say they're probably mechanized because this is more of a training ground and not using the real ones. We'll have to see the movie to see what goes on. However, on the bottom, as you can see, I wish these inserted somewhere just to be a little bit more stable because they're kind of just ones you put every which way. The actual playset has a lot of moving parts, which is nice to see, like these blocks that simply just spin out. Or you can go either which way, have Mario jump in to and fro, as you can see. This block right here just kind of moves in. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't shoot out, which I kind of wish it did. You have the standard brown brick boxes, the question mark boxes, these little things that fall down as soon as you step on them. And you have the bullet bill, which is on a lever right here. It just kind of moves to and fro. I wish that maybe he kind of fired out. Something like that would have been kind of cool. Something spring-loaded. He's got some stickers for the face and the eyes comes down here, and the background is nice as well. Everything is very high res. Everything is very clean. There's no distortion. Right here, as with the other section, this block will rotate out. It's got some spikes on it. This little part with the fireballs, I wish they would have done something different, designed it a little bit different, because it hits the block every which way you want to spin it. 
it's not just free moving. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, yeah, it hits, and then you got to move it again. Come over here. You got the question mark, brown brick boxes, everything else. Nice photos. It looks good. And I'm going to say that I think it looks better as a display option than a play function. So you can use the 1.25 inch characters, right? The micro characters, you could say, kind of reminiscent of the old school Jack's offerings. Yeah, Mario going all throughout the world, meeting up with Luigi. You can have the Koopa Paratroopa. And they all situate, they all display nicely within this world. So there's no problems there. And you got Treasure Tracker Toad, right? For lack of a better term, just Toad, Movie Toad. And the mechanized piranha plants. Those all look great, but to me, it's a little bit too divided. It's not like a clear cut, seamless, you got walls and such, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there are different areas. You could totally say that. You could put Kamek up there around the fireball area. So it does work, but in terms of projectiles or things moving, it's a little lackluster, I will say that. As far as a play feature for children, I would say they might be playing with this for about five minutes and then go, what else you got? But in terms of display options for a collector, for a big Mario fan, that I think is where it's at. This one might be for older audiences as far as the sustainability. Like I like putting Mario and Princess Peach and I could totally see myself putting this next to my N64 and my Mario collection. You know what I mean? It's that sort of deal for me. It's very cool, it's well done. But the play feature for children, yeah, I'm gonna have to say probably not. But here we are with this playset right here. This is the Super Mario Brothers plumbing van playset. Put everything else aside, this thing is glorious. Just the van itself. I don't even care that it opens, it's just amazing. You got the old school artwork on the side, you got the whole Mario Brothers on the license plate. I love that. Mario on this side with the Mario Brothers plumbing, it's perfect. That's it. Video's over. Just get the van, right? No, we'll show you how everything works. But as far as display options for me, I love it just because of the van. And the tires spin. So that's a nice play feature for kids that want to play with this particular play set. The back of the van simply opens just like that. And then it's just a matter of unfurling everything, as you can see, right? You get the front and the back, everything else just kind of opened up. And then you get to see the inner workings of the Mushroom Kingdom. And then kind of the Dark Lands, right? Of Bowser's Kingdom, I'm assuming. I mean, the trailer told us. But you get to see everything that it turns into. And it is painted nicely. And it's got nice photos, nice sticker backdrop. It's got brickwork. It's got the green pipes and pipature and everything else kind of running through it. So it's very cool, very engaging for the eyes. But again, not a whole lot going on in terms of a functional play feature with something that would be exciting to grab kids' attention. You know what I mean? I love it because of the van itself. And then, yes, it's fun to display. I'm not gonna be playing with this per se, but just in terms of it being Mario and how it looks, it's pretty cool. Like this pipe right here looks like there's a bit of a cloud on it, something like that. We'll have to wait for the movie, to be honest with you. But I would hope that you could put Mario in there and push a button and it would rocket fire him out, right? Like he's getting shot out of a green pipe. No, you can't really do anything with that. Up top, you can always drop him through, right? That's kind of fun. But then he kind of just free falls and slams into the base right there. I would have hoped that he could have shot out, like the trailer, into the Mushroom Kingdom. You know, more of a slide feature. Same exact Mario as the single pack. You can slide him kind of, sort of, into the Darklands, but again, it doesn't really go. You kind of have to force him in there, right? So again, it's really well done. It's nicely painted. Everything works. Everything is really cool when you open it up. But again, as far as the play feature, it's just kind of like, yeah. Well, that was fun for about two seconds. Like, for me, and how I perceive this and how I appreciate this, you have all the various Marios, like have him out the Mushroom Kingdom, like we see in the trailer, right? Hanging out with Toad. Toad's about to take him to Princess Peach's castle. Then you have Mario and the Warp Pipe, right? Wherever that goes, however that works, we don't know just yet. But you could put Luigi in the Darklands being accosted by Kamek and the Koopa Paratroopa. So there is a lot of displayability here, but in terms, again, of the fun factor, nah, it's just fun to look at, to be quite honest with you. However, in talking about the van and the scalature, if you have the 2.5-inch Mario characters, 
Well, that definitely works. I love that. That's a perfect scale chair. So all of this is kind of intermixable, right? Which I absolutely love. And that's the best part about all these Nintendo toys over the years. And just to see scalature with the 1.25 inch to the 2.5 to the 4 inch to the new 6 inch Mario to the 12 foot tall It's a Mia Mario, right? So you can see the gradual incline of Mario figures. That's pretty cool. And they are all kind of intermingly because of the various video games. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new The Super Mario Brothers movie 1.25 inch figures and play sets. I absolutely love the van. The van is my favorite because it fits more with the 2.5 inch figures and I just love it as a display option. However, the big blocks that come with the 1.25 inch figures are great for the larger figures. So again, like I said, everything is able to mix with one another. Mario got one of those giant mushrooms, right? Hanging out with Princess Peach, talking with her. Totally works. You could put all the 1.25 inch figures Everywhere you want, you got the mechanized piranhas, you got the even bigger Mario, right? Maybe he's going to crush some blocks. Or you could just have the simplistic Princess Peach standing in her little question block diorama. That totally works too. But I want to say thank you again to Jack Specific for sending these all out for the purposes of this video. And you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Super Mario Brothers movie. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. I got some more looks coming up for the Super Mario Brothers movie toys. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.